Cease Orange Lantern Origin is only 16 but it's hard to imagine fans accepting it today. There are tons of different lanterns in the DC Universe with Green Lantern typically being the most famous and well known. While the Orange Lanterns are a fascinating idea in theory the way DC decided to execute it with Larflays who debuted 16 years ago in 2008 was surprisingly problematic and it's hard to imagine fans responding well to it today. Larflays tells his tragic tale in Larflays 1 by Keith Giffen and J.M. D. Matthes. In this story Larflays recalls his origin as just another child of an abusive family. He wasn't special he wasn't important and he was born into poverty. Before Larflays even had the chance to do much with his life his planet was attacked and his people enslaved. Larflays spent the next section of his life in the mines where he worked away for the people who had enslaved him. He eventually would manage to escape and become the Orange Lantern. While this seems like a happy ending the way DC portrays this is actually rather shocking. Of all the Green Lantern Corps' enemies the Orange Lantern Larflays might just be the most terrifying thanks to the way he recruits new lanterns. Larflays had nothing in his life. He was poor and abused and ended up enslaved. Eventually he had to turn to thievery just to survive which led him to the Orange Lantern power battery. After being transformed into an Orange Lantern the embodiment of greed Larflays then becomes murderous and overly avaricious. It's understandable that he would want to hold onto the power that he finally has but DC turning Larflays into a murderous monster the second he gets something is a bit suspect considering his backstory especially nowadays when people are far more critical of those who hoard wealth. It's unlikely that DC would ever try such an origin these days. Implying that Larflays an abused former slave would immediately become evil and destructive the second he gained anything isn't exactly the best look for DC Comics. It's unlikely that DC would ever try such an origin these days especially with how the publisher's stories have been slowly stripping away the resources of the wealthier characters such as DC recently removing Batman's billionaire status. It's especially strange since DC already had a more fitting Orange Lantern during the Blackest Night event, Lex Luthor transformed into an Orange Lantern which is far more fitting for a ruthless billionaire. Plenty of characters have tragic backstories that turn them into who they are. But taking an abused poor former slave and making him the literal avatar of greed seems a bit misplaced. Larflays didn't necessarily have to become a hero due to his upbringing but using this backstory to frame him as a villain seems especially tasteless. With characters like Lex Luthor who already covet and have so much it makes sense when they become an orange lantern driven by greed. Even though Larflay's debut an essential part of Green Lantern lore was only 16 years ago it's unlikely DC would ever repeat his origin story today. Larflay's one is available now from DC Comics. Green Lantern is the name given to several characters in the DC. Comics canon centering on individuals who dispense intergalactic justice. Green Lanterns can harness the power of willpower and can create unique spectral objects to face off against their enemies. Though some Green Lanterns have assisted with the Justice League they primarily belong to the Green Lantern Corps. Several individuals have taken up the name powers and duties of the Green Lantern since the character was created for DC Comics in the 1940s. But no matter who takes on the name members of the Green Lanterns an intergalactic force for protection and justice seek to eliminate evil and keep Earth, and other planets, safe. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. Green Lantern's world is being turned on its head and it's affecting one notable hero. Is Kyle Rayner about to step into the Emerald Spotlight? In a new interview X-Men senior editor calls out a controversial Fantastic Four twist that ruined plans for Marvel's most powerful mutant. Venom has had many insanely powerful forms in Marvel but arguably none can match one in particular which is making its return in Venomverse Reborn. One of Gary Larson's The Far Side comics is actually a dig at his editor who admits the strip doesn't cast me in the most flattering light. In a new miniseries debuting this summer Black Panther must fight in upgraded armor as predators descend upon Wakanda in search of Vibranium. Many readers can argue that Wonder Woman is the most powerful woman in the entire DC universe, but many readers then haven't heard of spoiler. 
One fan has officially elevated the Wolverine cosplay game by nailing a key costume detail that almost every cosplay gets wrong in its recreations.